have no dignity. They lie. Did you notice? They lie about everything. Hello? Yeah, you have somebody in the chat. Abu Qasim, he's a Muslim. Uh, I came up just to show you that he's been having his hand up. That's a Muslim right there. Well, I don't see him. Where? Uh, Abu Qasim, give us your hand, please, so we can invite you. The second I just called his name, he left. Oh. I <laughs> All right. But do you see how they lie, those people? Do you see, guys, how they lie? All of us, were, this is what they say to the Christian in the street. You at the end of the day, where, but the Christian do not know the Quran. They do not know what the stupid Muhammadan believe. So their method is deception. And they go and they elect a verse from a very important chapter in the Bible saying clearly that Jesus, the Messiah, is our Lord and our Savior. And the funny, the silly, the stupid, they say to us, this is a verse confirming that Jesus is not God. If you read the rest of the verses, you will see how amazing this chapter. All the chapter confirming that the Messiah is your Savior and your Lord. Kungaru, liars, deceivers, manipulators, this is why I say to you always, you cannot debate a Muslim. Why? Because they are liars. You can debate a liar, but you can't get them busted. Hello? Hello. Hello. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Um, uh, yes. So why your name is Saint? Um, I like the name. But it's not allowed to have saint in Islam. There is no saint in Islam. Yeah, but the concept is like wali. Oh. No, wali have nothing to do with the, with saint. What wali have to do with saint? I just I like my I just like. The oh, name. okay. So what do you want to tell me, my friend? Go ahead. I'm listening to you. Why why you are a Muslim? Um, it makes the most uh, sense. Islam makes a Islam makes sense. That's good. So when your God, He promised you endless penis in heaven, that makes sense. What's the contradiction? Contradiction for what? For a small penis? No. What's the contradiction of it? I'm not talking about contradiction. You are talking about sense. You said it makes sense. Is it make well, is how, it? how that will make sense? Your wife is next to you, and your penis is going to the God knows when, which galaxy. I mean, you are talking about sense. We're talking about contradiction. You said it makes sense. So your wife now next to you in the bed, and you say, honey, I'm horny. What do you do? Like, and your penis is like going like, Ooh, honey, what is your penis? We need it now. Honey, I cannot I have no control. It is, he's going everywhere. He's now, let me see. Let me, let me ask Joe Biden. He has a satellite. Joe, do you know? Um, well, you know the thing. Like, what the thing? Look for my thing. I cannot find my thing. Do you see my thing? My wife, she's next to me. And this God, he gave me in the thing. And you are telling me, my friend, that Islam makes sense? Yeah, because sense is using logic. What is the logic about having endless penis? There's no contradiction of it. So it's I'm not talking about contradiction. I'm not, I did, not, did I mention the word contradiction? You, you stuck with the word contradiction. You know? What is... Okay, well, let's agree. What is what is sense if, if your no wife is next to you? In order now to have sex with those women, Allah, he promised you, they have to be at the end of the penis. So now your penis is in this, which means there's no end. So how, where, where is those women will be located? Are you going to be in the same heaven or she will be in different galaxy or where? So don't tell me Islam makes sense. Oh, no, hold on. What about your prophet? He promised you that your wife, her butt will be one mile. Does that make sense? So you will be you will be 96 mile tall and you are thin like a macaroni and she will be 36 mile tall or 30, uh, 30 mile tall and her butt is one mile. And you are, now your penis is in this, but you cannot have it. And not only that, your prophet, he says, which means a vagina fit for that. So how her butt is one mile only, but her vagina is in this. Can you draw that for me? 
It's impossible. No, because it's transcendent. Transcendent. Ah, okay. So again, you see, I don't want to. Okay, tell me more about Islam. What what makes sense in Islam? Um, it uh, confirms with classical theism. Classical what? Theism. What does that mean? Um, theism is the belief in a God that interacts with humans. Your God, he interacts with the humans? Yes, that's what theism So how come your God, he never spoke to Muhammad? Uh, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about, I'm talking about your God never spoke to Muhammad. Isn't you Muslim, you say that oh. Muhammad received the Quran from Jibreel, a guy is named Jibreel, he come to the house, Muhammad. Uh, according to the, to the hadith, like, as an example, what, what chapter you recite every day, five times a day? Um, the Surah Al-Fatiha, but I have a question. Al-Fatiha, don't share topic, hold on my friend, you know, have patience with me. So, Al-Fatiha, Al okay, hold on, hold my friend, my friend, let us, let us, uh, we are having good time, you know? You want some coffee? Uh, no, I like tea instead. Okay, tea, no problem. Camel urine if you want. According to your prophet, when he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha, and you are the one who said to me that he, God, he interact with with his, uh, with his with the people, with the human. I like that, but I don't know where you get it from. According to your prophet, when he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha, which you recite five times a day, he was doing poo-poo. And the one who spoke to him was not Allah, it was the angel Jibreel. If you go to the book of Asbab al nuzul which I'm showing in the screen, it says each time Baraz al-Rasul, which means he doing shit, uh, poo -poo, shit, he hear a sound each time he get out. Look how funny Muhammad is. So whenever he went out, which means to do poo, poo he used to hear someone calling him saying, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he hear that, he used to flee. And then Waraka al Nawfal, which I believe he is the real father of your prophet, he advised him to remain in his place when the caller call him. Now you said to me, Allah, he in, you know, intervene. And what he, what you said, he, what? It means interact. Anything interact, interact. That is so why, why your God, Allah, he is sending the angel when Muhammad doing poo, poo and he is not talking to him. He never spoke to him. You don't have to speak in order to interact. Uh, how your God interact with a human being? It could be by any, it could be by any means. It doesn't like, for example, uh -huh. I could text somebody, but just because I don't verbally say anything, doesn't mean I'm not interacting with them. Did your God Allah send text to Muhammad? It's an analogy, so it's not literal. Well, are you are you you believer in analogy? Not uh, you know what does that mean? I'm asking you now. You said interact. And, well, your God Allah never. You know Muslim. You never saw Allah. You never spoke to Allah. You never heard of Allah. You know you know you know nothing about Allah. Okay, is it true that your God Allah, He have a hand? Um, it's transcendent. What transcendent mean? It means that it is beyond anything related to created. Who reality. care? Who care? Allah, He said He have a hand. Did I ask you if it is? Uh, yeah, like but it, it it says it in the Bible too. So, well, my my God is Jesus. He have hands. Yeah, and He came as a human. We have no problem with that. I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, your God, Allah, yeah. have a hand. But it also says in the Old Testament before incarnated. So, mm, but is your God Allah the same? He's what? Is your God Allah is the same as Jesus? You mean? No, I'm just saying, I don't know why okay, you're So why you are comparing between this and that? Either either you believe then, either you believe that your God Allah incarnate, or you believe he's not. Did your God Allah incarnate? No, he doesn't have to incarnate. What do you mean he doesn't have to? It's just an attribute that he has. That's uh, just like in the what Old is Testament. The natural? Says, you know nothing about God the, has a throne. You know nothing about God the nature of, you, well, you know nothing about the nature of, nature of Allah, do you know? I don't need to know if God says. You keep what saying to me. Use, so why you are saying? Dream? So why you are saying to me the nature of Allah? If you say I do not need to know, which means you do not know. So how you speak about His nature if you do not know His nature? You claim that it doesn't mean with His nature, but you don't know His nature. So why you are mentioning His nature as an excuse, but you do not know His nature? Wouldn't you agree that we don't have to comprehend it a hundred percent? For a Muslim. Hello? For a Muslim, you don't hear me? Oh, sorry, I cut out. All right, no problem. So, about comprehend, you Muslim, you, you comprehend nothing. If I give you any verse in the Quran, do you comprehend any verse in the Quran? 
Yeah, I can. Understand. I will have a challenge for you. Give me the give me the most comprehend verse for you. Um, the one you Allah comprehend, one. big deal. Choose a chapter. Surah Khalas. Read for me, Al Khalas. Um. Okay. Wait. Why you choose Al Khalas? What What is special about it? Um. It's very simple and good. Uh huh. It's okay. So are, yeah, you say, are, you, are you are you are you saying the rest are not simple and that make them not complete? I didn't say that. I'm just you just said the most. All right. So. Well, let us see Alikhlas how stupid it is. You chose the most stupid chapter in the Quran. Go ahead. Wait. So God being one is stupid? No, where it says one, it says Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad does not mean one. Ahad mean one of. <laughs> one of what? You you tell me. If you go right no, now, you, you listen, the claim. listen, you copy the, claim. the word I had in your screen, in your computer, copy the word I had and paste it in the search engine. And you will find that each time the word I had appear in the Quran, it means I had mean one off. In Arabic, when we say I had, we mean we have to use it as one off. I had one of the students, I had one of the teachers, I had so one of the women, we cannot use the word. Huh? Is ahadul the same thing as ahad? It's the same. It's the same word. There's one, one off. So why is why is why is one say ul and the other one doesn't? There is nowhere. This is Muhammad copying the Old Testament. Oh Israel, your God is one, echad, not one as a person. This is echad. This is the same as the Hebrew. Ahad, echad, 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 echad. So Echad is Ahad, Ahad, Ahad. So you're a prophet. He stole a word from the Hebrew. He put it in his Quran. But by doing that, Allah cannot be one person no more because Echad does not mean one as a person. It means one as a unity. One as a unity? Exactly. Wait, I have a question. Mm. Uh, do you... Do you accept um, the church fathers? What the church father mean? Well, we are change the topic now. No. What does this have to do with this? No, it's it's related to God. It's related to God. Oh, God my, my God is my God. So, it's, it's not a it's yeah. Not, yeah. Uh, my, I mean, I mean not, there's nothing. It's called related to God. No, because simply, I am not related to God. I am created by God. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying the topic is so related to God. people should not so, believe in me. People they do not need to believe in me in order to believe in God. So if there is somebody he deliver a message to me and he is a prophet, we don't believe in him. We believe in God. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. the church fathers are the people who succeeded the apostles and their don't, teachings. Why, why are you changing topic? We are talking about the Quran. No, I, I know, Quran. I know, I know. But like, wouldn't it make um? I just want to have this one question because it's been bothering me. Okay. So, St. Irenaeus, mm -hmm. he is the student of, that is traditionally taught that he is a student of Polycarp. Mm -hmm. And Polycarp is a student of the Apostle John. Mm -hmm. That's what the tradition of the Christians hold to. Mm -hmm. And John, the Apostle, who was, you know, the Apostle of um, uh, Jesus, give right? Me the, give me the question, so, my friend. Give me the question. So, Irenaeus, he said in a quote about, he gives a commentary, you know, like a tafsir of a verse. Give me, right? a, give me the question, my friend. Don't give me a, you are, you are making me sleepy, so, seriously. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So Irenaeus said that the, that the son, right, that the father excels in knowledge um, compared to the son in divinity. Mm. So the father knows more than the son. Hmm. So if that's true, how can the son be God if he doesn't know what hmm. exactly the father well, knows? Well, you can understand that as you wish. But what I know that Jesus said, that our Lord, he says, that everything I have is given to me from my father. So Jesus confessed that whatever he has, all of it is coming from his father. So what he is saying to you, for sure, that whatever the Messiah he have, the Messiah is born of the father, not the opposite. It's not the father is born of the Messiah. So the Messiah, by being born of the father, and he is the one who is considered the son of God, 
that person is given from the father authority knowledge power and that authority is about judgment eternal life forgiveness life and death healing so everything jesus he have is from the father and about the knowledge this person he can say whatever he wants this is his philosophy but the bible is so clear that jesus he is saying from the beginning like if you go to book of john in the beginning it was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and that word is the flesh the word of god is the logos is the knowledge is the mind is the will that is jesus so jesus have the knowledge of the father because he is born of the father but because he's born so, everything he have is born with him from the father where is everything coming from so he can say as a priest his philosophy maybe if we read more we can understand what he is saying uh, i don't know the guy i don't care for him i never even heard his name but who care for us we have the bible and we go what jesus say and what jesus say is so clear everybody I, I can i can get now a christian uh, minister he can explain the verse in some way it, not necessarily wrong but he have his way to explain it so the person he have his way to explain things maybe i did not receive it in the in the in the way he is saying it maybe he did not mean what you are saying maybe he meant it but at the end of the day we don't follow him or anyone we don't even follow but john and listen listen we don't even follow john John is not our God. John, he delivered to us what God inspired him to say. We are not following John. So, but who understands? Who understands the text more than the people? No one understands the text more. More, no one understands the text more more than Jesus Himself, who explained Himself, because Jesus is the that, one who's who my it? friend. Jesus Himself, He spoke. And you can, this is why there is people who they can, they can fabricate, they can give their own false answers. There's people now, they justify for location, killing, stealing. They say, God, he made us this way, what we can do. They can, and they can justify it in, in their own way. But this is false. We, for us, we follow what God said. Not a philosopher, not a preacher. So, Listen carefully. So what about, what about in Don't Mark where Jesus said he doesn't know the hour? I just answer you about that. that. Jesus in the same chapter says that when this and this and this and this and this and this happened i will come so jesus obviously he knew all the hour preparation the announcement of the hour it's for the father jesus he have a job just the messiah he says i have work and my father work too so the father have a work to do and the son he have a work to do the messiah he was sent the bible says for god he loved the world he sent his only begotten son to what? To save the world. That is his work. The father work no. is different. Listen, my friend. It's not up to you to understand as you wish. You are asking. Yes, no so hold on. Hold on. So, so the Messiah, it is not for him. This is not his job to announce. Do you know what the word father mean? Um, in this context. Okay. If you go right now and your father is in the house. And he is going to announce something. Who who should announce it? You or the father? Um, but the problem is don't don't don't, don't avoid first... don't avoid the, the answer, you know. Your let us say your sister, she is getting married, and you are there, and your father there, and there is people there. Who is the one should announce the marriage? The son or the father? But the verse says not knowledge. Well, don't change not the topic. I'm announcing. asking you, why you don't want to answer? Why Muslim they go but in circle? Just, why why Muslim? Listen, 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 like listen, hold on. Listen, who is the one? I'm asking you about the wedding, and then we will go there. Who is the one should announce the wedding? The son or the father? Why are we talking about announcing? Because this is what it is about. The God the How Father. You know God the Father. You see, we believe in Trinity. We believe in Trinity. So God the Son is a person, God the Father is a person, God the Holy Spirit is a person, God the Father as a person is the one who will announce the day of judgment. God the Son, this is not his job. So I keep asking so you, who is the one, jobs? can you answer me, who is the one who will announce the wedding, the Son or the Father? 
Why? But I don't understand no, why you say no, that. No, you are you are you are playing you are playing dumb now in purpose. Who is the one? You are a Muslim in your tradition. Who is the one who announced the wedding of your sister, your father, or you? Um, I'll do it. Because you are an idiot. You are not a Muslim then. Muslim don't do that. You're a, liar. Nice. You're a liar. You're a liar. Because in our tradition, we are in the Middle East. It is the father who announced. It's an insult to ignore that the father is there. It's not your business. It is the father. That's why he is your father. And not only one. He is the one, actually, he had to give the permission. He is the one who have to approve it. He is the one who have to announce it. And then it's going to happen. So you are ignoring even your tradition. So Jesus, he's speaking to us who we are human, that listen to me, everything I have is given to me from my father, I have work to do, and my father is working too, and this is his work, okay. is to announce okay, okay. the day, same time, it is the day of judgment in Christianity, it's not pre-known, it's not a destiny, in Islam it is. I think I get it, so the father and the son, so wait, with your analogy, so there's two human beings, so you, see, you see, you are, you are very funny and very silly. I will go with your logic. The father was the son and there is two human beings. So when Allah in the Quran, he says, the moon is split and the day of judgment have come. Allah is two human beings or one? What? Did, what? You see, I did not say my God is a human being and father no, is no, a no, human no, being. No, 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 I didn't say Falsely, that. Honestly, you said that. I'm, I'm asking you, saying... listen, listen, listen. So Allah, we are talking about day of judgment. So Allah, when he announced in the chapter of the moon, that the moon split asunder and the day of judgment is side. Did Allah speak as a son of God or as God? What a son of God? What is that? That doesn't make sense. Because you are saying that Jesus did not know the hour because obviously Allah did not know the hour. As you see in chapter 54, Allah announcing the hour that the day, the day of judgment is started. The moon split asunder. It was a sign of the day of judgment, but nothing happened. It was just yeah, an but... it was just an eclipse. So here, Jesus is not a fa false person. He says, "My father." Why? Because this is the truth. His father is the one who will announce the day of judgment. This is not not of his business, not of his command too. It is the father command. It's the father business. But when the Quran says the hour has drawn near and the moon has been eclipsed asunder. And according to Muslims, the moon split two pieces to the point separated and appeared the Mount of Hara. This is how far the distance, which means millions of miles away from each other, two parts. What happened? Your God, Allah, obviously, he did not know the hour. So in my case, as a Christian, when the Messiah, he say, only my father, well, because we believe in Trinity, in your case, Allah do not know the day of judgment because of what? Because he have a father and the father will announce it? Wait, but isn't, but the Trinity... Don't, don't say but, the... ask, ask, answer, answer about the Quran and then we, you can, you can but me. Don't tell me but. Why Allah, but we on the why Bible Allah first. he announced the day of judgment and it, he failed? No, because he's just saying it's a sign. No. He said, yeah. okay, so, uh, thank you guys, it's a sign. This is 1400 yeah. years ago, the sign of yeah. splitting the moon. So did Allah change his mind and he put the moon together again? If it's a sign, he, no. should, he should cup it, okay? The Quran says that the moon is split. Did the Quran says Allah, he put it together? No. So- Yeah, that's this, fine, but like- What, I mean, what uh, fine? Okay, this is this is Allah. He have no oh. father. He have no father. Same time, if Allah he knew that this is a false sign, he should not mention it. So now we are fourteen hundred years after, and to confirm to you that this is really what he meant. He meant that this is the judgment they starting. Isn't it your prophet? He said, "Riyushikna Isa," that the Messiah is going to down go down between you. Soon? Yeah, but like, yeah, but what, 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 like, what do you mean? Tell me, is that age? true? So, a fourteen hundred years might seem a long time, but if you think about it, the age of like the universe and the Earth, it's a very small time. Okay, so, but my friend, your prophet, he said, he saw a kid and he said to them, "This kid will not grow old before the hour come upon you." 
This is not yeah, about so a million year. You must tell me you keep fabricating things. So this kid will not grow old until the hour will come. Is that about a million year for you? No, because, um, so wait, can I give my answer to that? Go ahead. Okay. So some companions went to him and asked, when is the hour? And he gave the boy an example and said he will not uh, grow old until um, his hour comes. No, so the no, hour, no. That the is hour. a false. That you are a liar. He said it clearly. No, no. the hour. He, he did not say my hour. Okay, you know what? In the front of everybody. If you show me in the hadith, the word saying, my hour will come, I will apologize from you. Yeah, so in the context, it's speaking Don't tell me about, contact, you see, you're lying again. Wait, don't speak about context, but it's very important. No problem, you can't tell me the contact, this is the whole story. He saw a child, they asked him, they came to him, they said, the prophet, when the day of judgment will be? He said, he looked at the child with them, he says, this child will not grow old. And the hour will come. They were not asking him yeah. if he, when he, how will, are you saying to me that Muhammad is making a prophecy that he will not live as much as this child will grow old? I mean, he's already old. He was 60 years old. So what the, what the heck is that? Listen, listen. When, when, the, uh, can you read the hadith for me in front of everybody? I wasn't done explaining my answer. Can, can you read the hadith for us so you can explain it better? But I, I couldn't get to explain you, it my whole but thing. In, in order to explain it, you have to read the hadith. Can you read it for us? Um, can you send it? You do not know it? Yeah, I know it. I know, this, I know the whole thing. Uh -huh. I know what the thing is. But it's talking about death. It's talking about his death. False. That, false. That's, there's two. Yeah, no, no, no. It's false. not false. Because even if you... Have you read... Um, Ibn Hajar's commentary. I don't care about commentary. You see, I, you, you are giving me your commentary too. I can give you my commentary. Is that what you Muslim go yeah. by? Okay, so are you yeah, saying I, to me, uh, okay, you okay, you see, you see how Muslim you fabricate things? You just said somebody who was not exist in the time of Muhammad, he came maybe 10,000 years after, and now he is the one who can tell us what the Prophet he said, but the hadith is so clear. He says well, the hour will not come. He did not say my hour. Did they ask him when you will die in the hadith? No. Did they ask him when we will die? No. What they ask him is when the hour will be. Correct? Um, wait, I'm reading the, I'm finding the hadith. Uh huh. Every So look, it says right here, Anas ibn Malik reported uh -huh. that the Prophet said uh -huh. um, that a person asked the Prophet, uh -huh. when would the last hour come? Thank you. Thereupon, Thank you. The last there, hour. The last hour. Can I keep reading? Uh -huh. Can I keep reading it? Uh -huh. Thereupon, Allah's Messenger kept quiet for a while. This is important. Impor very important. For he sure. kept quiet. For sure. Important, yeah. It's very important okay, because exactly. it's to show why mm -hmm. what I'm saying makes sense. Mm -hmm. Then looked at a young boy in his presence belonging to the tribe of Azul, uh, this tribe, I don't know how to pronounce it. And he said, if this boy lives, he would not grow very old till the last hour would come to you. First, the word loss does not exist in the hadith. You are making things up. It says, I'm reading you are a liar. Right in front of Apologize. Me. I'm not lying. You are a liar. Anna said that this you young are a liar. You apologize. You are a liar. I have the hadith in front of me. You are a liar. Apologize. Can you show me the word? I don't lie. Can you show me the word in Arabic where it says the last? Or you are the reading, last you are reading the, the first. You are I'm reading getting. the first translation of the Muhammadan, correct? But why should I believe your translation then? I, I, I'm, not, I'm uh, Arabic. This is Arabic. You do not need my translation. Yeah, and so, these guys know Arabic. Read too, in so Arabic. So. Use Google Translation. But this is circular. I could say you have the wrong no, translation. No, no, you cannot circle. It's not a game. People are watching. There's millions of Arabs around the world. 
It says here, yeah. There's no last hour. There's no your hour. There's none of this. They're asking him, when the sa'at taqumu sa'a. It's so clear. Mata taqumu sa'a. They did not say our hour when we will die. No. He said. So the lower. Listen, so, let, let me, let me, let me, let, let me do this. In the front of everybody, I'm going to use Google Translation just to show you how the Muslim they duct tape their prophet, who is a false prophet. He claimed that his God told him that the hour is coming soon. And this is confirmed when Jesus, he, he said that Jesus, Yushikna Isa, and Yenzi, uh, the Messiah will come between you so soon. Yushik, you know what Yushik? Almost there. This is not a thousand years from now. He's not saying like a hundred years. That's you fine. Shouldn't. It's almost can be a two thousand years. No, 5, no, years. no. Oh, you see, you see, you Muslims, you you lie. When you shikna, no. you shikna is now, not tomorrow. You shikna is almost in the corner, and now we have yeah, this. Almost can be okay, 5, hold on, years. hold on. Listen, here we go. I just use Google Translation, and I will post the, the the website. Everybody can open it, and you can open Google Translation, and you will see. It doesn't say your hour. It doesn't say your day. It doesn't say anything. They ask him, when the day of hour will happen? The day of hour. All the hadith and all the Quran, when they speak about the Qumusha, everybody knows right away this is about the day of judgment. This is not about anything else. When the look, hour, you see, look, let us read together. The hour, they come to the him. Hour. They come to him. Let me post even Google translation. And you said, how I can trust your translation? Don't trust my translation. Read in Arabic. Don't you know your religion? Yeah, I've had many people who know Arabic. And they okay, are can you invite anyone Arabic. who knows Arabic? He can read for us. Um, let me uh, wait. Mm -hmm. I think I can get someone. Okay. That's wonderful. Um, the person in the audience, I think his name is. Uh, let me see. Ask him to put his hand up. We will invite him. Make a request. Okay, wait. All right. This is the guy, Sajaj? Sajaj? Is that the guy? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, I can give a snipping tool of a screenshot of Google Translation. It's saying what I said. False. I have it right in front of me. You are reading false translation, my friend. I'm showing you the Arabic. But you, you, but you just told me to use Google Translate like okay, a minute ago. Okay, here we ago. go. I'm using, okay, read Google Translation. Give me, give me the hadith, the hadith you are reading. Here we go. Are you, are you, are you translating the same hadith I'm showing you? I'm translating. This is okay, number just... two five nine two nine five three. Two five nine three. Uh -huh. I'm reading. And this is hadith number six one six seven al Bukhari. This is two nine five three in Muslim. This is the most authentic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I so, got that one. Too. So it doesn't say what you are saying. You are lying, my friend. Wait, where can I send? My friend, you are lying. Apologize. The hour, you see, when you say the hour, that is a definition. There's only Wait, one, there's only one the hour. There's only one hour. That is the day of judgment. Asa. Everybody know that. On the authority, I'm reading. So how do I how do I send the Google Translate? Yeah, you, what the what you are reading? Authority of who? What hadith you are reading? The one that you said. Okay, how come it's in the front of me? I just use Google Translation. It doesn't I'm say what you're saying. Too. So okay. how can I send? I'm showing it, it in my screen. Send. I'm showing it in my screen. People, they can take a screenshot for you and they can post it for you. Okay, I'll send mine. Hmm. Uh-huh. And Abni Abni Mary Satara Sura, okay. Uh okay. So it's in the front of you. When the hour will come, guys, this is his this is his listen carefully. 
This is what he sent us himself. Not what I did. He is using Google translation, not the page, the whole page. He just copy the text, right? All right. Does it uh, say? Humbly speaking. Does I it say? Does it does it say the hour in the front of you in the translation you send me? When the when the will the hour come? Did they say when our hour will come? The translation you send me, the screenshot you send in the in the in the, in the screen. When the, the hour comes. Yes, when the hour exactly. They are not asking about their hour. What hour? They don't have an hour. All of them they will die in one day. <laughs> wait, uh, all wait, of them the guy, they will die. The the all stage, of them the they will the die. Stage. Listen, listen. Did all you? those people be, be, they will die uh, before this gate. Is, do your even your prophet? Look, do your prophet? Is it the Quran says nobody knows? Hey, do you, do, hey, is it, listen, listen. Just to show you how you Muslim you lie. Is it the Quran says nobody knows when his hour will be? How come Muhammad now he knew he's God? Only Allah knows. Because of, because of old age, because of old age. But this guy right No, not me, old age. Right? Hold on, listen. Who said, that even the, who said that they are even old? With them, there is a kid. And nobody speak about their age. And nobody speak about when they die. It says here in the front of you, the hour will come to you in that day. Until the hour comes. Do you see? Until the hour. This is what you post for me. You post it. Can you speak to Hanbali who's right in the stage as sure, well? Sure, sure. Okay, let us take Hanbali. I will give you a vacation then. Come, Hanbali, come. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking. Can okay, Hanbali, read for us the Hayat in Arabic, please. Jim, can you hear me? Hello. I hear you, I hear you. Go ahead. Okay, okay. So the, the question, the question I wanted to ask you. Don't you ask the question. You know, we, we gave you the oh, microphone. Oh, we gave no, you the no, microphone. No, no. We gave you the microphone Hello. so you can read the hadith, expose your oh, prophet. Okay. I'll, 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 read, I'll, read this, I'll read the hadith. Wait a second. Okay, so read, the it. Question, oh, read it. Be, read it before question, you oh, ask me a question. Hello, before before you ask me a question, read it. Read okay, it. Okay. Don't well, change topic. Read it. Okay, read it. We'll read it for a second. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between Mahfouda bin Iwafa and Mahfouda bin Tabiri? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I am not a I'm not I'm not yeah, a Muslim. Yeah. I'm not a Muslim. Yeah. Muslim they yeah. knew everything. Read yeah. for me. Yeah. Read for yeah. me the poopoo. -poo. Yeah. Read for me the poopoo -poo of your prophet. He claimed that the basic day of judgment yeah. will come it's before basic. this kid yeah. he die. You see, you are a coward. You call me because you want to change the topic. You want to talk about something have nothing to do with our topic, and nobody even understands what you are saying. You're a donkey. So read, don't be a coward. Your friend he invited you because he thought you are a man. He was Arabic, but he doesn't even know the difference between Mahfouda bin Allah. Let us see. Listen, yeah, Jahil, your prophet do not know even how to read his name, you coward son of Muta. You are talking about ignorance. Do your prophet even know what you are talking about? What is that? Your prophet, if we put two words in the front of him, donkey and a mule and Muhammad, and we say, which one is your name, Muhammad? He will not know, according to you. So you are coming to school us about Arabic language now, changing the topic. You know why? Because you are embarrassed and you are trying to get away from this. I will give you the mic again. Be a man. Please. Read, that. we invited you here, the guy, he asked for your help. You're a brother in Allah. He asked you to come so you can read the hadith and correct me. Don't you know Arabic perfectly? Okay, read the hadith in Arabic and translate. Go. You claim that you know Arabic. You claim that you know Arabic. We don't have a difference. Shut up, coward. I do not need to claim I speak Arabic better than your God, Allah. And it's you who do not know Arabic. And if you know Arabic, why well, you are ashamed to read what we have in the screen? What's your, what's the problem? Do you know why? Because what we have in the screen is, is exactly what the Christian Prince is saying. Otherwise, you will jump on me. You see, Christian Prince, let me expose you. And you will start reading the hate right away. But you are doing everything you can to avoid reading the hadith, which expose your prophet. Your friend, he claimed he don't know Arabic. I said, okay. Invite a person who speak Arabic. We invited you. What do you do? You don't want to read the hadith. Why? Because this hadith will make your prophet shish kebab. I will give you the microphone again, please, for the last time. 
Do you have the courage to read the hadith and translate for us? Go ahead. Ah, uh, okay. You gonna let me talk now? Sure, but read the hadith. Oh, okay, okay. So if I hear your dog, if you hear... There we go. <laughs> dog. Don't talk about dog. Isn't it Allah? He have a dog? According to Muhammad, he told his cousin, aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? Your God, Allah himself, he have a dog. And by the way, according to Islam, the dog is dirty and najis. So why Allah have a dog? And then when her cousin, his cousin, he go to Yemen, Allah, he sent his dog and he ate him. Oh, oh, oh. What a silly, stupid story. So are you, let us go back to Saint. He is a smarter when he play game than this guy. Hey, Saint, you play better game from your, all of you Muslims, you have no honesty. Why? So Saint, does it say in the translation you sent me, your translation, the one you sent me in Google, does it say the hour comes? Yeah, it says right there. Okay, does it say your hour come? Yeah, it means the same thing in this context. Shut up and get out of here, you coward liar. Guys mean the same thing. Lying. Shut up, you are a liar. There's a huge difference between. They did not ask him about our hour. They said when the hour will come. He is a prophet of God. They are asking him about the day of judgment. What our hour? If there's any human being knows when this guy would die and this guy would die, there are a group of people, not only one, not only two. He did not say your hour. If he say your hour, then maybe we can take it in. But there is no, the hour, the second you put the word, the L, L, this is Al Ta'rif, L of definition. The second you put the before the word, that means this is unique. There's only one. This is why in Arabic, we don't see Muslims say Al-Muhammad. Why? Because there's many, many Muhammad. They are all over, you know, like Muhammad. Everybody is Muhammad. But there's only one. His name is Al-Masih. Why Al-Masih? Why there's Al? Because there's not many Masih. There's only one. There's, why there's Allah? Because there's only one. Al-Law. A-L is in Arabic as definition. A-L in Aramaic is a word meaning God. God, la. This is the name of your God. So they lie, they say, it's the same thing when the fact it is not. So look what happened now. Abdul, he called me, claiming that the Messiah do not know the hour. Well, we have no problem with that because simply he is the son and that is the job of the father. We believe in the Trinity. Your God, he do not know the hour. Why? Is that because his father did not tell him? Is that why? A Muslim, his name is Rahman. He is asking us to join a debate. But as you see, Muslim, they never debate. They lie. Potato. Debate. You Muslim debate. I mean, look, we show them in the front of them. It says the hour comes and they say it's the same. This is your hour. Hmm? This is the same? We show them that their God Allah, he speak about the moon splitting, but is the moon really split? Since when? If the moon is split, that means the moon is already split. It is, it's, did, did the Quran say Allah, he fixed it? No. Okay, Allah, he split the moon. Why? Because it's a day of judgment, brother. But nothing happened. In fact, this is a poetry Muhammad he stole from Imru al Qais. If we go and check the Imru al Qais, just to show you Muhammad, the thief, he just changed a word. He's copying word by word. He's copying what? He's copying the poetry of the man word by word. This is Imru al Qais poetry. You can find it in Google. 
Do you see the lines? All those lines, the whole sentence is taken as it is. You see like what is the black line under the sentence? Any sentence you see a black line underneath of it? That is Muhammad taking it and put it exactly in the Quran. And look how many. It's endless. Exactly, word by word. Do you see it? So here in the in the top it says, "That is Sah when shakka al qamar an ghazal in sada qalbi wa nafar ahwar an qad hurtu hurtu fi awsafihi naas al tarf bi aynihi hawar." You coward, Muhammad! You are a thief. Faramani fataata fa akar. All of this is a theft. The potato, Muhammad, is stealing poetry of someone wrote this poetry long before Muhammad. And he claimed that this is coming from God. However, by the way, there's a very easy way to prove that this is a fraud miracle. Why? Because in the same Quran, the same verses, the same chapter, Allah, he said, answering the Arab who asked Muhammad, how come you don't have a miracle? What? How come you don't have a miracle? He said to them, wait, and I am waiting. So if this is a miracle already happened, why the same chapter, many verses after saying, I will do, just wait. Hello? Mr. Hamza? Hi. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm all right. So what do you think about what we are talking? Did your prophet, he mentioned false prophecy about the day of judgment? Not necessarily. Um... I like this word, not necessarily. What does that mean? Not by necessity. What does that mean? Either it is, is or it is not. So are you are you are you are you saying you are not sure if he was lying or not? Not by necessity implies sureness. That you yeah, are. yeah. So you are not sure if your prophet is a fraud or not. Okay, I got it. So, if we read John twenty and seventeen, yeah, he came he came back to says, the same thing. You change your name, you come back with different name. You think that will make you? If we read it, John, we did read it. We did read it already. But you must, you must, you must them have only this John 17, 17. That's it. Oh, With John 17. 20, 20, 20, just, 17. just go, go. We talk about Quran. They might talk about the Bible. Do you know why? Because they are ashamed of their religion. Do you see what the name of the, you know, Muslims cannot explain Islam. What the Muslims they do? They call us and they say, read for me John 17. Read for me Mark. Explain Islam. Mark, read for me Mark. Explain Islam. Read for me uh, Luke. Abdul, the title of our topic, Jesus explain said, Islam. Do you do you want to explain Islam for us or you cannot explain Islam? Just shut up. Potato. All of you are potatoes, coward. You're trying to change the topic because it's embarrassing. That's the whole reason. If we are talking about the Bible, I have, you know, he have a reason to talk about it, right? But our program said the name, can Muslims explain Islam? Can the Muslims answer Islam with Islam? They call you, can you read John for me? Cowards. They have no shame. And they knew they cannot explain Islam. And now we get them busted that their prophet is a false prophet. I do not need to defend Jesus because your stupid Quran said the great things about Jesus. According to the Quran, Jesus is now is alive. According to your prophet, he will come as an absolute judge. Hakaman Muqsitan. Oh, this is the name of Allah. Muqsit. One of the names of Allah is Muqsit. You know what Muqsit means? absolute just, judgment of just that is Jesus so Jesus now is alive in Islam Muhammad is dead and there is no proof that Allah is alive 
And there's no proof that Allah took Jesus up to heaven. That's that's false claim. I can't say I took Jesus up to heaven. They try to avoid the topic because simply it's an embarrassment. Their prophet is a false prophet. I do not need to defend Jesus to prove to you is God. The Quran confirmed that. The Quran confirmed that Jesus, he resurrect people from death. And then Muhammad, he stole the name of Jesus. What the name of Allah resurrector? But isn't this what Jesus says? The Muslim, they call their God the truth. But isn't it Jesus? He said first, I am the truth. I am the life. I am the resurrector. Muhammad, you took the names he gave them to Allah. If we ask this guy, saint who came back now, how many resurrectors there is in Islam? Go ahead, uh, saint Allah. Go. I'm waiting for you to answer me about your prophet prophesying about the boy. Are you there? They go, they change their names, they come with the same topic, and they are trying to prove to you that Jesus is not God. But my friend, you can do your best. That will not prove anything because it's already in your Quran. Jesus is God. He is alive. Every human die. Every human in Islam, including your prophet. The cockroaches ate your prophet already. My Lord, the Messiah is alive. How you can explain that? My Lord, the Messiah have no father. Your father, your prophet father is a pagan man. His mother, she is pagan. And the Quran says, وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ نَجِسٌ Those who they are mushrikeen, they are filthy, dirty. So your prophet based in your Quran, he is a son of filthy, dirty family. Your prophet insulted his parents. He called them filthy, dirty. You might say he don't mean it, but he forgot who is he. While in the Quran, Jesus is the resurrector. Jesus, he can create from the mud, the bird, the Muslim, they say to you, Allah gave him that. Talk is cheap. How come Allah could not give Muhammad that? They asked Zakir Naik the same question about Jesus' miracle. He said, but the third, at the time of the third, the end was very advanced. So Allah, he wanted to prove to them that he is more powerful. So he gave Jesus the ability of healing. What science should donkey you? Somebody told you that Jesus, he go around, he give them antibiotic. Somebody told you that Jesus, he go around and he give Advil. What science? And Muhammad came 600 after Jesus. So in the time of Jesus, it was more advanced from the time of Muhammad. Can we say now that science was more advanced 600 years ago from now? Same time, what does this have to do with medicine? Was Jesus giving them medical solution like, you know, bills, take this three day time a day? What's your problem? I can see. Okay, listen, you take this food, you drink camel urine seven times a day and you say inshallah after that you go to the bathroom you shake your penis seven times and you mention the name of allah and then when you piss look at the, the color if you can see the color that means you are not blind no more we have a story of your prophet a guy he came to him and he told him my brother is dying oh, sorry he's so sick not dying his stomach the prophet, he, without asking him what is uh, the problem, he described for me more. He said to him to drink honey. The guy came second time. He says, he's getting more sick. He said to him, I told you, tell him to drink honey. He said, yes, I did. He did. But he's getting more sick. He came third time and he said to him, prophet, he's getting really, really bad sick. He said, I told you to drink coffee. So, the, uh, 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 honey. So when he came to the last time, Muhammad, he screamed at him and he says, somebody pause the hayat, please. 
Your brother's stomach is lying and Allah told the truth. What? Your stomach is lying and Allah told the truth? Imagine you go to Jesus, you say, Jesus, I'm sick, I'm so dying. Jesus, he said to you, drink honey. You come back to Jesus, he, Jesus, I'm more sick now. Okay, drink honey, I told you, drink honey. And then you came to him third time and fourth time, and then Jesus, he said to you, your, your stomach is lying, you coward. Huh? Allah told the truth. Are you saying the medicine of Allah is not working? Allah told me. The guy, he never come back, and the Muslim, they say he was recovered. He never come back because his brother is dead. He screamed at him. Your brother's stomach is lying? Have you ever heard of such a statement? If you watch the video of Mufti Mink, he said, when Jesus, when Isa, he moved his hand, he just waved his hands on the crowd, everybody healed. He healed his thousands of people. This is what the Muslim believe. Just by waving his hand. That is Jesus. Muhammad himself, he used to faint every few seconds. Every few seconds. The hadith says, look at this and laugh. What is the hadith? I don't know why. And I don't know what's wrong with this browser. Each time I search for something, maybe there is, I have bad cookies or something. I need to delete the cookies maybe, I don't know. It doesn't show. I use the same website for a thousand times. If not a million. I don't know what's, what's going on. Can somebody uh, find for me about Muhammad fainting? I gave it to you many times, if somebody can. If you want, you can search for, uh, copy this word, sentence and search in the search engine in the website. For some reason, it's not coming with me. Copy it in Arabic and post it in the search engine of sunnah.com. Okay, somebody found it. Thank you very much. No, no, that, not this one. No. We want about the, uh, the hadith about Muhammad keep fainting. Non-stop. Non-stop. His God cannot he heal him. And he is the prophet of Allah. And he is the most beloved person for Allah. Muhammad cannot even go to the bathroom. The hadith even says that they used to carry him to walk around. He cannot move. The hadith says that Qad Hajar al Rasul, which means he lost his mind. He had dementia. What what uh, what is the disease for old people when they start losing their memory? What they call it? Umar al-Khattab, he said, and the companions, they said, Qad Hajra Rasul. He became crazy. He lost his mind. He lost his conscious. He's not aware of what he's saying. That is the truth. So, Saint, are you going to do the same game or... Is it the same when you say it or you are lying that the hour is the same as your hour? Is it? Go ahead, Saint. Hello. Is it the same? Yeah. Your There's hour is hours. the same as our? There's two hours. The Death hadith does it say the final judgment. The hadith does it say your hour? 
it's just the hour and we all have exactly the hours. no that's a lie go ahead you see i don't i don't waste my time debating liars sorry i'm not going to waste my time go you muslim have no dignity and i say to you you cannot debate a liar if in our arabic is so clear if they say to him when our hour then you can say they said when our hour they said when the hour when the hour not when our hour yeah somebody posed the hadith in arabic well i have it in arabic i want it in the, in the hadith in the in this stupid website sooner they come i don't know why it's not working with me let us see Yeah, you know, I, it, it doesn't appear for me. I don't know what happened to this website. It used to be a very good website. Oh, hold on. Somebody yesterday, he said, oh, let, hold, hold, hold on, there's a website. Somebody mentioned it yesterday. I save it in my phone. Hold on. What was the name of the website? All right. I think we have a better solution. Amrayan, Amrayan.com. Ah, okay, hold on, let's try this one. Amrayan, Amra. It's the same thing, huh? You know, actually, those people, by the way, at the end, they leave Islam. You know why? Because they knew they are lying. They knew that they are lying. Let us try this one. Hold on. I found another website. For <clears throat> maybe we need to go to Hadith. Hold on. Hadith. All right. Let us try now. Wonderful, here we go. We found the website is functioning. Perfecto. Forget about snow.com. It was narrated. Let me see if I can post this link for you. I don't know if it's going to be so long for Discord. Let me know if you can see it. Zaheimer, yeah, Zaheimer. Can you see the link, guys? Or it's so long to go through? Are you able to see the link? So look like from now on, at least for now, I'm going to use this website. Do you see the link or no? All right. So if you open it, it's in Arabic and English. It was narrated that Salim, blah, 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 that the Messenger of Allah, he fainted when he was sick. The Prophet is sick. The prophet is sick. And what's happening to him? He fainted. Okay. Then he woke up and he said, Has the time for prayer come? They said, Yes, yes. He said, Okay, tell Bilal to go and tell Abu Barra to tell them to lead the people for prayer. And then he fainted. The fainty prophet. Then he woke up again, okay, and he said, Has the time for prayer come? Yeah, he said, Yes, Prophet, yes. Yeah, okay, tell Bilal to go for Adan and did Abu Bakr to lead the prayer of evil. And then he fainted, like, what the heck? Is that a game hide and seek? This is your Prophet. This is your prophet. Then he woke up and he said, Has the time for a prayer come? They said, Yes. He said, Tell Bilal, Father, and Tell Abu Bakr, Tell the people for a prayer. 
Aisha, she could not take it no more. I mean, she have a crazy husband. Look what she said. Listen, listen. My father is a tender old man. Hello? Huh? Keep asking him to go and lead the prayer. Ask somebody else. You idiot. Muhammad, he did not even listen to her. He fainted again before she finished the sentence. I mean, if you read this sentence, will not take even 10 seconds. Before she finished her sentence, Muhammad, then he fainted. The fainty prophet. And the Abdul is coming to us to talk about the church father. It is you who follow every man in the world except your God. We don't follow anybody and anyone, anyone. In case you do not know, Abdul, we have from the early churches people who they are heretic. Like as an example, there is someone he claimed that Jesus was a created. We kicked him out of our churches. So don't come to me and try to be a philosopher and tell me. Same time, yes, everything Jesus he has is given to him from the Father. So the guy is not wrong. And everybody here knows what is that father church father mean. It's meant simply the early churches, the early believers. You are just an idiot. So the Muslim, what they do, they go to a website and they say, look what he said, let us use it. Maybe this is, can be something. It doesn't work. Because at the end of the day, we will not go by understanding of an individual, but by the understanding of the church, which we as a Christians agree upon. As an example, the Muslim, they say that their prophet, he says, my people will not agree. The majority of them will not agree upon something is wrong. That's what Muhammad said. Correct? Do we have any Muhammadan? He is decent, not a liar. Your prophet, he prophesied the day of judgment. Your prophet, he claimed. He knew how the baby is made. Every single claim your prophet he did say it turned to be false. Every single one. Name one your prophet he claim is not false. We have the proof, we have the reference. Any Muhammadan, he will not say to me the lies and the garbage he gave us? Anyone? It doesn't say that, CP. I'm not going to waste my time and make myself scream with someone, he will lie. There's no point. If you want to join us, you have to be honest. You have to say the truth. I'm not asking you for more. I don't want you to say to me something, it's not there. But there's no point of someone lying, saying that the hour is the same as your hour. They came to him because he's a prophet. And it's a normal question, the same as they asked Jesus, who when the hour will be. The same question exactly came to Jesus. And you Muslim is the one who mentioned it. When the hour will be. How come we Christian, he did not say, he is talking about your hour. You see how they, you see guys, do you see the difference between the Christian answers and the Muslim? The Muslim, they, they duct tape, they lie. The same exact question was given to Jesus. When the hour will be? Okay, we can now make it manipulate the word and say, he's not talking about the hour of the day of judgment. He was talking about their hours.
But because we are Christians and we cannot lie, and this is not what the verses are saying, it is so clear, the Messiah, he made it clear, it is for my father, not for me. They practice taqiyya, they practice tarwiyya, they, pra they, they practice all kind of lies. All of this is just to defend their false religion. And what they do, they open a website made by atheists or by Muslims. They have a collection of verses and they ask you about it. But the second they ask them, like, do you notice this guy, he did not ask me about the Bible, he's asking me about the church father. Hmm. Where he get this from? Who care about this church father anyway? Why he's important? He's a student of a student of a student of a student. So? But because they are looking for something, they search the internet and they find articles. This guy, he said, that guy, he said, let us use it and see how we can. But they cannot say Jesus said. They try to manipulate the meaning of sentence someone said. I don't know what this guy, he said. And I don't care what he said. For very clear reason, what he is saying is not what you are saying. Otherwise, he will not be considered a Christian. If he is saying that Jesus, he know nothing. If he is saying Jesus, he have no power. If he is saying Jesus, if he said that, but he did not. But if he said that, he's not Christian. If he says Jesus is an angel, he's not Christian. If he says Jesus is a prophet, he is no Christian. A Christian person is someone agree. You mentioned to me that this person is a, is a student of John. Well, John, and this is John. If we open John right now, a student of John will say what John say. And there is no way he will disagree with his teacher. Correct? What John said? The Gospel according to John Chapter 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him. Through Him. And without Him nothing was made. Nothing was, was made. made. I mean. In Him was life. Life. And the life was the light of men. The light, yeah. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, who was the light that Jesus. all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Mm -hmm. That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. Do you see? He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, the only. Full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received, 
and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Amen. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. And they say to you, Now, th John, they say to you, go to John. The cowards, they say to us, go to John. When the first page of John announced Jesus as the Creator, all life came by him and through him. He is the light. He is the word. He is the logos. He is the knowledge. He is the will. He is God. So whoever is a student of John, he will not dare to say anything against the gospel. Otherwise, he is no Christian. And do you notice how amazing when you listen to the Bible, when you listen to the Quran, the Muslim, they try to sing it. They make you someone have a nice voice to make you believe that this is a book of wisdom. But if you speak Arabic, you would die laughing. 